great. Got off to a quick start. Um, first drive, go down there and get points. It's something that we've talked about uh, repetitively over the course of the last couple of weeks. Um, felt good to go out there and, and get it done. Uh, first play, Dawson making a big, big play for us and really starting us off the right way. Would you, would you think that might have been start to finish? I mean, the penalties were not great, but start to finish, it might have been your best game of the year. I mean, overall. Yeah, it's up there. And I think you look at it from all three phases. I think everybody went out there, knew their job, and executed at a high level. Um, offense, defense, special teams. Um, got to clean up the penalties. Um, obviously had a turnover today and had another one that could have been a turnover. Ty Johnson stepping in and, and following the ball and making a play and keeping it alive in that two-minute drive. So um, still lots to clean up, front, uh, clean up, and you know we'll, we'll watch this one, get rid of it, and enjoy this plane ride. Does it feel like Keon is playing more comfortable, more confident football right now? Absolutely. Um, and that's something you know our, our staff has got him rolling. Um, Knows what he's doing, and he know, when he knows what he's doing, he's rolling. He's a he's a damn good football player. Uh, he's continuing to make plays for us, um, you know. And you love to see that from from your young guy, and uh, he's only gonna get better. Josh, is there a noticeable difference when you have a game where you don't start well and a game where you do start well? Is it simply just executing, or yeah. is there like anything else that you notice about? The no, it's a lot of a lot of execution. It's quick little decisions here that that mount uh, mount up and, and kind of snowball into bigger things and. Um, you know, again, we could have let the turnovers kind of deter us from having a, a good game, uh, but we continued to find ways to move the ball. I think we're really good on third down. Um, I don't know the exact numbers, but um, I think we, we executed at a high rate on third down, which allows us to, again, move the chains and give us our opportunities to score points. And um, I think, I don't know our red zone touchdowns either, but we, we scored quite a bit. James Cook got going, um, Ray Davis got going, and again, guys made some plays for us. Hey, after the turnover, the defense got the stop at the goal line, and then you guys went 93 yards. Was that kind of the, oh, huge. the shifting point huge. of the game, maybe? Huge. Um, hate throwing turnovers, um, but went and made the tackle, and, uh, you know, coach talks about it all the time of, you know, something like that, not not to put your head down, go to the sideline, go make a tackle and let your defense come back out on the field because you never was, never know what's going to happen. They went out there and had four consecutive plays of a stop and um, allowed us to, again, snowball that into something really good and score uh, for the two-minute. And that was the mentality, right, to make up for it by taking control of the game? With absolutely, time, right? absolutely, yeah. Uh, should you describe what happened on that play, uh, why he was able to pick it off? Yeah, um, he, he played inside. I think Amari slipped a little bit and, again, just – could have put that maybe a little bit further behind um, and put it on his body. Um, it was a little wet, you know, and the guy made a good play. Should you over 100 yards today? Do you just, every week do you just see his game elevate? Yeah, um, he's as steady as they come. You know, he's been dealing with an ankle for the last couple of weeks. Uh, every week he seems like he's getting a little bit better and more comfortable and confident and cutting. Um, again, he just continues to make plays for us, and, you know, he's not the flashiest player you're never going to see him be in the end zone and do something crazy, but um, he's just as consistent as they come. Um, love the guy, and he, he does whatever's asked from. As James Cook two touchdowns over 100 himself, can you tell early in the game when he's got it going? Oh yeah, he, he's when he's running it hard like that, and that second touchdown when he he lowered the boom, um, you know, and you know he's I wouldn't say he has the biggest frame, but when he's an, he he can be an angry runner, and uh, you saw that today. A couple of 90-yard touchdown drives in the first half. What does that do for an offense, in particular on the road? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, it takes the crowd out of it. Um, you know, you stay out of third and longs like we did and be able to convert as well as we did. Um, it quiets them down quite a bit, which, again, helps with communication um, and helps with really just the whole vibe and momentum of the game. Mm -hmm. Crowds can be such a, a big part of it. And, um I do want to shout out Bills Mafia because that was a, a crazy scene walking off the field right now to the thousands of fans that were still here. Um, so appreciate them for coming out, and uh, hopefully they enjoyed the game today. From a game-to-game standpoint, despite the penalties and whatever sloppiness, situational stuff, even going back a couple weeks, how in control do you feel on a week-to-week -week basis? Because well, I don't want to. Yeah, I mean, I think I, I feel good. Um, and that's a credit to Joe and his system and the staff and RC and what we're doing in the quarterback room. and. Um, you know, Mitch and Mike and Shane, you know, we have a lot of really thorough and good conversations in there that really help me throughout the week. Um, and I appreciate every single one of those guys. And, um, you know, it takes, a, it takes a village to go out there and execute like the way we did today. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's, it takes everybody, and it was a, it was a good feeling. Uh, from a team standpoint, last one for Josh in terms of, you know, keeping, um, whether it be the long drives, coming back from a turnover, just the idea of we got this. 
Yeah, I, I just think the confidence, again, that's instilled from the top down, um, especially in the offensive side of the ball with Joe and our offensive staff putting guys in positions where they know what they're doing, they, they do it fast. Um, you know, we, we're not, I wouldn't say we're over too overcomplicated in what we're doing. Um, I know we have some motions and shifts, but again, um, it takes guys learning it and understanding it, but going out there and executing at a high level, everybody knows their spots. And when you got that, you got a dangerous team.